Lamine Diak was the most powerful man in athletics for 16 years. But on Wednesday, in a dramatic fall from grace, he was found guilty of corruption at a court in Paris. He's been convicted of multiple charges, including accepting more than $3 million in hush money from Russian athletes in return for covering up their doping offences. The 87-year-old from Senegal was sentenced to four years in prison, with two of them suspended, and fined nearly $600,000. His legal team confirmed they will appeal. This decision is unfair and inhumane. Unfair because we see that the judges have tried to be politically correct and have wanted to use Mr. Diak as a scapegoat. Diak was originally charged five years ago. He's been under house arrest in Paris ever since, and the case has attracted global attention. There was a big pressure on the tribunal. Uh, it was the first uh, uh, worldwide, one of the first worldwide cases involving main uh, leaders in, 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 in sport community. So we understand that there was a big mediatic political pressure. It's not the first time that a French, German, English judge has difficulty to, to resist with this pressure. Diak was head of what was then called the IAAF from 1999 to 2015. His help in covering up Russian doping meant that many athletes who were cheating were able to keep competing at major events, all at the expense of clean athletes. You can't see the smile on my face with the mask, but I'm very happy to have been recognised as a victim of the corruption by the athletics leaders. And I'm also happy for all the other athletes who were victims. We need to continue the fight against doping. The court handed guilty verdicts to five other people, including Diak's son, Papa Masata Diak, who worked as a marketing consultant for the IAAF when his father was in charge. Fifteen million dollars were funneled to his companies, including commissions from TV rights deals. Papa Masata lives in Senegal, which is refusing to extradite him. He was sentenced in absence to five years in prison and fined more than one million dollars. As for his father, the appeal keeps Lamine Diak out of jail for now. He himself made no comment as he left the court. David Stokes, Al Jazeera.